Hey, what's up guys? Joshy from MobileTechVideos.com today with another tutorial. Uh, this will be for the Samsung Captivate uh, running the latest KB1 firmware and I'm going to teach you guys how to tether 2.2 uh, uh, firmware on the Captivate. This may apply for a couple other revisions as well. Obviously as you know uh, at t has been trying to charge for the tethering package so if we were to see something like that say we wanted to uh, to fire up our mobile AP application we would say yeah sure okay and um, around this time we would um, I'm just going to turn off Wi-Fi here for just a sec and the AP has been activated and here in just a second we'll see this verifying and that's going to go on and off for about I don't know eight to ten times and at the end, it's going to basically bounce us off and say, no go, this does not have official AT&T tethering. Now, a lot of people, like myself, feel that if we're being, paying for data, then they should not monitor how we do things. So obviously, uh, tethering is not available for this particular phone. Um, so, I mean, like I said, like I've said personally in other videos, I think that AT&T would be better off allowing us to tether for free because it would create a lot of overages from people not paying attention and blah, blah, blah. But uh, anyway, so you can't tether with the official KV-1 release of um, the Captivate. If you want to learn more about the KV-1 firmware and how to upgrade, click here on that video. Um, so anyways, we've got our KV-1 Captivate, and what I mean by that is it's the latest 2.2 push to the Captivate. Obviously, here we can see that we're on 2.2 KV-1 for the baseband, which also represents the build number. Um, to fix this, we would need to root the phone. So you need to watch my root video right here. And once you've rooted the phone, we'll show you how to use an awesome application known as Titanium Backup, which can be found in the market. Uh, I also have a Titanium Backup video to elaborate on the other functions of it right here. And uh, you can learn much more about it. But that's the application we're going to use. So obviously you would just type in Titanium Backup. And eventually it would sort through and find this. Obviously, kicked ourselves off Wi-Fi there, so I'll just search for it like that, and I'll show you guys which one to grab. There's a free version and a pay-for version. Personally, I recommend the pay-for version. For this, you can get three with just the free version, but the pay-for version has so many awesome things about it, and you can watch that video earlier that I pointed out to, uh, to learn more about those things. So we're on the edge of network right now, so it's going to be a little slow. May even get a couple of retries. But uh, the point is is that the free version here uh, will do what we need it to do. So there it is. It's by Matrix Rewriter. And once again, recommend the pro version if you're going to actually use it for long. And I just consider it a donation to Matrix Rewriter as it is truly an awesome application. So you're going to download that. It's going to come up over here. Uh, once we've rooted our phone, we can install this. It's going to ask for root rights. Say allow. The first time you run it, it's going to ask you to allow it from super user. And uh, so you'll say allow. And from there, we can go to the backup and restore tab. And that's going to show us all of the applications and system things that we can back up uh, using this. We're going to go to the bottom practically and get to something called Tethering Manager. AT&T has launched this Tethering Manager 1.0. This is the application that is verifying whether you have a tethering package or not via AT&T's proxy. When you remove this, it's not going to know what to do and it's just going to grant you access. So we're going to uninstall the app. We'll say yeah, because we know we don't have a backup. And sure, go ahead and uninstall that app. Now it's going to uninstall Tethering Manager. Boom, done. Now from here, we can fire up our mobile AP again. It's going to warn us about battery life and data consumption and whatnot. We're going to fire it up and obviously right now we are no longer getting the verifying is actually on and I'm going to pull in another phone here in just a second and uh, we're going to leave this as an open network in our settings to make this a little easier uh, for our other phone to connect because you know, guys don't need to see me type in a password or whatnot so I'm going to set the Captivate up there and pull in our Motorola Atrix and we'll take a look at it um, the Atrix has no SIM card in it to verify that this is working correctly let's get off of our current network which is uh, my network here, and we'll forget that, and we'll connect to Android AP. And we're going to connect to this and verify that our network is up. So obviously it is obtaining an IP address now, and connected. Okay, so from here we can open up a web browser and verify that we've got network connectivity. So we should be pulling up <coughs> Google here in just a second. 
Remember, we're tethering over the Edge network. Yahoo is my default page. I haven't changed that yet. Uh, so Yahoo pulled right up. And if I wanted to go to a separate section, just so you guys know it's not cached, I could click my favorites, and uh, it'll come up in just a moment as we we're on the Edge network. Okay, so tethering, not even that bad on the Edge network. So that is how to tether your Samsung Captivate running the latest KV1 2.2 Android firmware using the trick of rooting the phone, using Titania Backup, removing the Tethering Manager 1.0 application, and then boom, you've got full tethering access for free uh, with the latest 2.2 firmware for your Captivate. So if this video saved you time and or money, please consider donating on the donation page on my website. The link for that is in the description below this video. You can check out all of our other Captivate vids as well in the tech video section. There's links for that as well. And um, be sure to subscribe. We're going to be having a lot more content for this phone, the Atrix, the Vibrant, all kinds of new phones that are coming out. We're going to be supporting the major ones. And, um, you know, um, I look forward to, uh, to having you as a viewer. So thanks for checking us out. Remember to subscribe, donate if you appreciate. And uh, as always, if you're ready to check this out and try it out, good luck.